Okay, so we're not going to spend too long on it, but I kind of just wanted to get a quick run through done on Streamlabs. Then that'll help kind of give everybody the idea on the following videos to come after this one. Streamlabs is just what we're using to create our content on. And so I just kind of want to, uh, to put it in a simpler way towards ev for everybody. I don't know if it'll help or not. Um, it's just... You know, it's it's there if you need it. Okay, so and so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's go over to Streamlabs and start the very short tutorial. This is going to be short. All right, and. Streamlabs, there ain't guys, there ain't. We're here now. What are we gonna do next, guys? What are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna learn. <laughs> and um, so very simple. All right. So you guys see this bo uh, square box in the center right here. Depending on how you have your different layouts, this is the standard layout, and this is what we'll talk about. But we will talk about where you can find other layouts down here in this area. Um, so. Uh, under sources, um, you see this is a stack, okay, and in the order of this stack is how you'll record your screen. And so, right here at the top one, you see video capture device. That's what uh, the box with me in it. That that's what that is. And so, I have that at the top because I don't want to get covered by anything else. Okay, so let's say, and then right below that, I have display capture since I'm doing a tutorial on Streamlabs. And that's the simplest way to do this right now until we get a better grasp on how to do it in a more um, sophisticated manner, I guess. But this is good. This works right now for me. And so I'm hoping it'll work for you guys. So look, um, very simple, very easy. Um, when I stretch this out, you see I'm covering some of it. And let's say I want to move. Let's say I wanted you to see this right here, but still hear me, but you won't be able to see me. I can do this. I can go to video capture device and I can put myself below the display capture. <laughs> well, I don't think I can do it during the live. Yeah, I can. All right, there it goes. So you see, so what happened is uh, that square box right here. It's just showing that this is where I would be, and when I talk, this is the audio input capture. You, this is when I figured out my mic was working with my phone, but you see, so it's that's all it is. It's the stack, and so whatever works for you, um, it's, and that's how easy it is. Right here under audio input capture device, and let me show you what settings would look like. You know, I go to settings, Samsung G Track, Samsung G Track Pro. That's the microphone I'm using, right? But if I wanted to use my iPhone's microphone, thanks to Camo uh, Studio, I can actually right here. But we don't want to do that. We want to use a external microphone. I have my iPhone, iMac microphone, Camo microphone which um just means through the camo app um i have it just set to capture directly through my microphone so this will capture directly through the microphone as well but through the camo app which is then being used as a plug-in type of situation through uh stream lab so it would work if i was to do that you see it, it still works fine but i'm gonna leave mine here um other than that audio works fine um don't feel the need to i don't feel the need to adjust anything else here so i'm just gonna you know go back and if let's say you want to add a source you just hit this plus right here and you can add any source you want to all right um browser source audio input capture that's where i put you know put my mic into that stack without putting this into the stack you wouldn't be able to have your audio display capture that's where you're seeing uh this tutorial right now instant replay i haven't used that yet scene haven't used that yet video capture device that's what i'm recording off of simple text if i wanted to add, add text overlays on my video i could i just haven't used any of them yet but um you guys will definitely see as i play more with that color block um same thing haven't used that yet uh collaboration camera cool new feature so like let's say gage was gonna hop on a video with me but was not in studio 
he can hop on um, from his location and we can both actually be in our video and still collaborate together and put the content out that we need while still conveniently being able to not have to be in the same room at this time. And so that's just what that is. Um, audio output capture. Um, that's something that I have not messed with either yet, but all that means is, you know, just if I wanted to capture audio that is being uh played um what would i do i want it to kind of record in the background or do i want it to record front and center and we'll talk more into detail about that later too later right i want to keep this simple i don't want anybody to think oh no this is very complicated it's not i'm i'm gonna keep this as just short and to the point as possible and image slideshow you want to add images you know whatever you're however creative you're getting you can do it right here and you just hit add source but and that's it and then right down here and you can't see it let me see look i want to show you guys the button down there you can't see so boom red button right here you can hit record um or you can hit go live you can uh record or go live straight to any platform off of Streamlabs, you can multi-stream. Multi-stream is better than single streaming. Why would you not want to monetize your stream anyways? You know, so Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, those are the three that I see popping up the most. And as I test it more, I'll definitely let you guys know um, how that's going. And if uh, that also includes other platforms like TikTok, um, uh, Twitter, um, and, you know, others. And I'm sure that it'll, you know, it'll integrate and work fine and let me post my videos seamlessly from one location to every location and that's what i want to do but other and you know now i'm hoping that's what you guys would want to do as well work smarter not harder right why would you want to individually upload your video if you can do it to every platform from one location and that i mean i think would help take some of that workload stress right off so all right so now that we know that streamlabs is a good free and that's a big thing here, free solution that we can use to go ahead and live go, live stream if we want to, use it as a recording platform, and that's what I'm doing right now. And it's a little bit more simplified as OBS. It looks like OBS, but it's user interface. I think it's better. And there's not really much more to talk about. I really want to see you guys play around with it some. Just make like a one minute video. It doesn't matter. Just make something. Make some content. And you know what? Post a link in the um, in the comment area. And I'll watch it. I'll be your first view all day. I just want to see you guys make something. Okay? And so, and I hope you guys enjoyed this very small, very short tutorial um, Streamlabs. Um, reason I thought it was important is because this is what the platform that we will be moving forward with at Dr. Cloud Studio. So if you're following along this uh, path with us, um, I just wanted you guys to know that as we learn more, so will you guys. And that's the point. We don't have all the answers now, but we're going to get them. And we're going to get them together. So that being said, I should probably start scripting my videos. I haven't thought that all the way through yet, but so far I just kind of like winging it. It's kind of fun. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this very small, dumbified, <laughs> really, really, really short tutorial that kind of didn't explain much, but I hope it did. Again, I don't know how to say goodbye yet. So I'm just going to ramble on and on and on and on and on until, until we're friends, right? We're... We're friends. We're friends. You guys won't leave me. No. Yes. Okay. Goodbye. Forever. But not not forever. Just for right now. All right. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. I don't want to end the video yet. <laughs>